very much. There's more music later on. Jerry Damas is in the square. <laughs> and our next speaker who has to follow that is the uh, leader of the Green Party, Natalie Bennett. Thank you. And I don't really know how to follow that, given that I was thrown out of the primary school choir for being untuneful. So I promise I'm not going to sing. That's the good news. I'm going to begin with a declaration of, in of interest. I am an immigrant. But oddly enough, I'm the sort of immigrant that you don't hear Nigel Farage complaining about very much. You might want to complain about the Australian, the American, uh, the Canadian bankers who come here and help wreck our financial system, but Nigel never mentions them. But what we have instead is Nigel Farage saying all sorts of untrue, dishonest, unfair things about immigrants. And the sad thing is, he's largely not challenged. We've seen here today some honourable exceptions. MPs and MEPs from the three largest parties who are standing up to racism. But the sad fact is, overall, on average, the three largest parties are not saying, as you are, stand up against racism. And what they're doing is they're chasing after Nigel Farage trying to get in front of him and what they should be doing is challenging him yes. and that's what you're doing today challenging Nigel Farage Woo! now there's two reasons why this is enormously important to the future of Britain the first one is the fact that every time some slur is put on immigrants every time some untrue fact is stated as though it were a fact. What happens is the drunk man in the pub, the irate woman on the bus, she and he feel empowered to abuse someone they think might be an immigrant. They feel empowered maybe even to hit someone they think is an immigrant. Racism, anti-immigration rhetoric is dangerous and it has to be stopped. Yes. But secondly, there's a really another important side to this. It's the fact that somehow we have people like Nigel Farage and far too many people in the three largest parties who acknowledge the fact that we have a low pay culture that's failing our citizens, an economy that's not working for people. They acknowledge the fact that we have far too expensive housing, not enough of it and far too poor quality. They acknowledge the fact that we have a real problem with overcrowded schools, overcrowded medical services. And then they say immigration is to blame. And I say to you today, immigration is not to blame for our problems. Failures of government policy are to blame for our problems. And what we need to do, what we need to do is make the minimum wage a living wage. What we need to do is put a rent on extortion at private rents and build lots and lots of council housing. And what we need to do is stop the privatisation of our NHS, the shoveling of public money into private hands and fund the NHS properly as a publicly owned and publicly run institution. And we do all of those things and we tackle those problems. But whatever we talk, keep talking about immigration, we're not tackling those problems. So I say to you today, you've done a great job in saying no to racism, and I think you should all give yourselves a round of applause. And you can do more after today. Don't think you've done enough. Talk to your friends, talk to your relatives, work, talk to your workmates, talk to them about politics, talk to them about the European elections, and say, don't just vote with your feet, vote as well. Thank you.